I find the find a trail of feathers usually. A trail of feathers is something Nick Chase says he's seen quite a bit lately on his property in Corbett. We've probably lost 10 birds here in the last two weeks. With so many chickens disappearing, he's now building a protective enclosure. But it's not the swipe of this cat's paw he's worried about. No, the cat we're talking about here is much, much bigger. Dave Callister lives about a mile down the road from Nick. Around midnight, he came face to face with the predators likely behind the trail of feathers. I almost stepped on the tail of the one and being curious, I looked under the truck and found myself nose to nose with this one and yelled at him and he hissed at me. The big cat didn't back down, so Dave ran to get his gun. He fired two warning shots, but still, the cougar didn't leave. Seconds later, he spotted another cougar that wasn't backing down either. Being that brazen, I made the decision that it'd have to be shot. You know, we have kids in the house, neighbor across the street has kids and so on. So, uh, you know, at that point it was a major hazard. Oregon Fish and Wildlife agrees, saying it's not normal for a cougar to act that way. That's like an animal that's showing uh, no fear of, of man, which it should normally show. Fish and Wildlife staff will now evaluate the dead cougars in hopes of learning more about the cougar population in the area. Staff said the pair are likely siblings and are both under two years old, which could explain their behavior. As for Dave, he now realizes how differently his close encounter could have played out. Looking back on it, that cat could have just reached out and swiped and I'd have been hurting. Fish and Wildlife staff said it is legal to shoot and kill a cougar if it's threatening either people or your property.